Should I, it's time for me to shut up now. It is, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's done up. He's not on Twitter. Okay, we can find him. Oh here. no, I'm far too 20th century. I do apologise. Um, <laughs> how many of you were here last month? Yeah, a few. All right. Okay. Risk OS is um, an alternative operating system for the Raspberry Pi. Very, very quickly, because I'm determined to make this the quickest presentation of the night. You'll see why in a minute. Um, it, RiskOS was originally developed by Acorn, who originally developed the ARM chips. So the two, the operating system and the chip hardware, have been hand in hand since day one. As a consequence, uh, it's efficient. Now, it's not working properly on the screen at the minute, which is uh, to do with over scans and under scans and all sorts of weird and wonderful things to do with transmitting things over an HDMI interface. Right now, for the Raspberry Pi, the operating system is very much in an alpha state. But what I thought I would do tonight is, um, I've, you see, I've been a bit lazy. I've actually not upgraded the operating system on, on this computer for, oh, I'm not entirely sure. Hang on, just let me uh, load the browser off for a bit there. Okay, okay. It's just that and then, uh, right, there it goes. Right, and you can't see what I'm doing down here, but there's a thing called the switcher down here. So if I find out when it was I last off, oh dear, I'll look at that, 9th of July. I am lacking. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is um, upgrade the operating system, which I'm going to do by going to this particular website, which is the people that look after... Um, the open source flavor of RiskOS is a place called riskosopen.org. And I'm now going to click on software. <coughs> and then essentials, ROM images. Uh, for those of you that weren't here last month, one of the things I did mention was the fact that RiskOS 5 runs on an awful lot of different <coughs> modern um, ARM platforms. You've obviously got the Raspberry Pi, which is very important for everybody, but there's also Nomad 3 builds, so that's things like Beagleboards. Uh, even the Pandora, yes, since RiskOS runs on the Pandora, some of you that have been involved in sort of know about sort of the modern sort of open source sort of hardware projects. Um, and also things like the Panda board, which for RiskOS users like myself is a scarier clock board. That thing can be clocked to 1.5 gigahertz. Now, for risk of that means it's like 700 megahertz, which this thing runs on this, it's, that's, that's, that's quick. But like, twice that, it's like, oh, incredible. Right, anyway, I, I need an operating system. Right, where's my operating system? Uh, I want the, I don't want the bigger one, don't I? Want, oh, I want the, where do I put it? Oh, here it is. Uh, the, yeah, right, okay, and there's the operating system coming down. I'm just going to store it temporarily on the RAM disk. Uh, well, there we go, it's done. Now, <laughs> uh, just to be on the safe side, because I'm probably right royally going to break this Raspberry Pi of mine. Just going to quickly just uh, pop it on the uh, on the hard drive. Well, uh, SD card, of course. All right, go on. Oh, there you go. All right. I'll need to just run spark plugs so we can actually open the zip drive. Comes. Right. Right, there we go. You see this file called RiskOS? Yes, yes. That is the operating system. Okay? So, what I'm going to do now is I'm now going to upgrade the operating system. So, if I. RiskOS allows you to really, really dig inside things. You can um, do a thing called a shift double click. And what it lets you do is go inside whatever it is you're trying to get in. So, that thing called boot. Uh, well, cling boot, exclamation mark boot is sort of it controls yeah, various variables that, as the system starts up. So I want to have a look inside because I know inside here there's a single loader. Oh, look. There's this thing called riskos.image. Uh, right, okay, so I'm going to rename that. I think I've already got one called old in there, so I'm going to call this one old 2, all right? <laughs> By, uh... Oh, and the keyboard stopped working. Hurrah. Yeah, 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 I know. This is one of the reasons why I really need to do this upgrade, is that uh, there have been some issues with the 
with the keyboard support. It's still plugged in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yes, it is still plugged in. <laughs> oh, I will unplug it and plug it back in again. When I was doing a demonstration in front of 300 people in Cambridge, I had the same problem with the mouse. I thought I was great. I think I looked brilliant with my foot right in my mouth. Oh, and the mouse has stopped working. <laughs> oh, well. One of the advantages that you do get with RiscOS is this. That's called the reset switch. <laughs> because the operating system sits, well, used to sit in a ROM, you can just unplug it, start it back up again. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that is the entirety of the operating system loading up. Oh, there it goes. Oh, come to supervisor this time. Oh, <coughs> really, I'm not happy, are you? <laughs> like I said, I was intending to do the world's shortest demonstration, and I have now been shot down badly. <laughs> Much more healthy. Come on. Waiting for our network connection. Yeah, 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 I know. It's because we have a bit of a fight to actually get on the internet from. Uh, What I do is I go inside boot, so I go inside loader, I then rename that. And if hopefully my keyboard will still work. Looks like it's gonna. Way! Uh, I said it was gonna be old two, didn't I? Yeah, right, okay. There we go. Da -da -da -da. Right, um, oh yes, I need the operating system. Where did I leave that? Oh, there it is. Right, I'll put that in there. That is the operating system. Obviously, I'm only to give it some sort of file. Uh, RiscOS doesn't have ex file type extensions. It has metadata that it understands within the files. So I need to, because obviously this thing being some sort of uses other operating systems, then I need to give it a file extension. So I'll call it image. All right. Now then, this probably is not going to work. <laughs> However, there's only one way to find out. Whoa, that's not healthy. And these OSs can be any number of versions apart. The way it works, it, I mean, all I've done is just downloaded, they're, um, they're auto-built every day. Right, it's not working. It's fine. Um, <laughs> Every day, um, I probably need to alter the config.txt again, I think. Go on, work this time. No, right, it's not going to work. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fail. But the point I was trying to make in the, in the shortest demonstration tonight was that <laughs> the operating system is that small. So in theory, as I've just proven, <laughs> um, you, should just, you should just be able to download a new copy of the OS, copy it into that folder, and bang, away you go. And that's it. Okay. Right. <laughs>